Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Scorpios, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, okay? So this person could have fire in their chart. They could be manifesting you or maybe you're manifesting them. All right, we've got the Two of Wands, so this could be a twin flame connection. Um, but I love this person's energy. This is somebody who's got a lot going on. This is somebody who's ready for love. Feels like there's a deep compatibility here. What they love about you is Virgo energy with the hermit. So they see you as very wise. They see you as independent, probably mysterious, very spiritual. And what else we need to know? The king of wands. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of passion here. A lot of passion, a lot of excitement. And we have Justice card, Libra and Energy. So for a lot of you, this may be a twin flame connection, but regardless of the label we're going to give it, I feel like this is karmic justice. This is what you've been waiting for. I don't know if you've been manifesting them, they've been manifesting you, or a little bit of both. But Scorpio, it feels really good here. Now, it definitely feels like someone may have strong fire, Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart, Virgo or Libra. All right, and of course, it could be a Virgo, Libra cusp. Um, but let's see, why is your person showing up as the eight of wands? I love that the sunflowers there on her dress or on her, I guess it's like a caftan, but I feel like your person's very free spirited. I feel like they're energetic. I feel like they're happy. Um, I feel like, um, yeah, they're happy and free spirited is what I'm getting. All right. And we get the three of cups. This is somebody who you may meet through friends or, you know, um, it feels like there it feels like this person's very charismatic um they may be you know they may be dating when you meet this person again i don't get that they're a player or anything like that but i do feel like this person has been dating um looking out waiting for the right person to come around and again they might be in your community or they might be somebody that you meet through friends with the hierophant energy it is possible this person has been married in the past but I love this because this person is going to see that you fit in really well with friends and family. I also feel with this Hierophant energy that um, this, this person's looking for a higher level of commitment, but they're not also, they're not trying to rush into it. So again, when I say that they've been dating or maybe there are some other involvements or they're casually dating when you meet this person, um, it's because they're, they're trying to find the one. They're really looking for stability, commitment. Um, the four of pentacles just fell out in reverse, which tells me that, you know, this person may be letting go of other options because they see you as the most compatible. And with the six of swords here, there's this beautiful Libran energy of feeling at peace or feeling at home um, with one another. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's see what messages and guidance come through. This person could have Taurus in their chart. This, you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. I feel like they're very funny. They're good humored. They love to laugh. We get twin souls. So I was picking up on this twin flame type energy. A mirror of yourself. This is a connection that intends for you both to balance your feminine and masculine energies and evolve your soul. All right, Scorpio, this is somebody who doesn't have any immediate family. So again, they could, um, you know, they could be at a distance from their family, different city, state or country, or maybe, um, you know, they, they don't have family. Um, but this is a great opportunity to, for them to feel as though they belong to yours. And we do get daddy's girl. So male or female, it doesn't matter. Remember, my readings are not gender specific. But this person has a close-knit relationship with their father, whether their father is still with us or has crossed over. Um, and we get relaxed. Yeah, this is somebody who you're going to feel quite at ease with. That's what I was getting with this Libran energy and the Six of Swords. 
They're going to be super approachable. You're going to feel like at home with this person. All right. Not like at home. You're going to feel at home with this person, Scorpio. All right. Let's go ahead and see. And I do, I hope I didn't call you Taurus. I did just do the Taurus reading and with that Hierophant card there. Now I'm doubting if I have possibly called you Taurus for a second, but I do know I'm in the Scorpio reading if that did happen. And there might be something in the Taurus reading for you, your opposite sign. Um, it was a beautiful reading for sure. All right, so the Two of Swords tells me this person, you and this person have this beautiful compatibility. There's gonna be ease between the two of you. Um, you know, like you get along very well, you have the same interests. This is also someone who's going to be genuinely interested in what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're studying, what happened in your day. Okay. Spirit saying it's going to be love at first sight. This is someone who enjoys tarot and we do have your ex. Okay. So for some of my Scorpios, it could be a reconciliation, but for a lot of you, I am definitely not getting that. There could be a connection to your ex, like maybe this person knows them, maybe this person reminds you of your ex, but don't worry. A lot of you, I know you're not looking for a reading about an ex and you're not looking to go back in time. And so this doesn't have to mean that this is a past person coming back. Um, so just use your judgment. And we have loves animals. All right. So this person loves animals. Beautiful. Feels like they've got a good soul here, Scorpio. And they, they love you at first sight, love at first sight. A lot of love here. <laughs> love at first sight, loves animals. They're going to be relaxed, happy. This is going to be fun. You two are going to mirror each other. For a lot of you, this absolutely is a twin flame connection. Okay, but again, the label isn't important. What's important is that compatibility, being on the same page, respect, acceptance, love. This person wears a meaningful accessory often. They called you the other night. So some of you, you may already be talking to this person or you know exactly who they are. But I actually feel more than anything that this person, they might be a bit more traditional and pick up the phone and call rather than sending text messages. And this person may dye their hair. So it could be that they actually dye their hair or they get highlights or something like that. All right. They have more vowels than consonants in their name, first, middle, or last. And they may speak with an accent. So they may come from a different city, state, or country, or different region. And we get here, there's something here about the vowels in their name are going to be important. So one of their names, first, middle, or last, may begin with a vowel. Okay, but again, that's not going to be for all of you. But you're definitely going to notice the vowel or the vowel placement in their names. Um, so I don't know if they they have a name where, you know, there's double A's back to back or or something like that. Okay. So let's see what else we need to know about this person for my dear Scorpios. What else do we need to know? This person is spiritual. They love tarot. All right. They're stable. They're balanced. They're authentic. They have this energy of self-love. And this person's a boss too. They may actually have a spiritual business, um, but they're successful. They're financially stable. They're an entrepreneur and they're of average height. Okay. So they're yeah, average height. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> All right, let's see. What they love about you is the hermit energy. So this is Virgo energy, that you're practical, that you're wise, that you're organized, that you also, uh, you know, hermit energy, Virgo energy is, is somebody that people look up to. Um, you don't need to necessarily be in the spotlight, Scorpio. And I feel like Virgo, Scorpio energy, and ha share, ha Ooh, I'm getting too excited, <laughs> shares a lot in common or has a lot in common. All right, so they like this sort of Virgo energy about you. Wow, they see you as their wish fulfillment. And with the two of pentacles, and they also see you though as like, and, and this is where I'm getting, there's this compatibility, like this Virgo Scorpio energy where like you don't jump right into things. Like when you walk into a room, you're gonna like kind of hold back and scan the situation. Um, and I, I feel like this person's gonna pick up on you doing that Scorpio and really appreciate it, most likely because they do that as well. But I also see with the two of pentacles here, they also probably find you to be very hardworking. Some of you, you might have a side hustle or you're just able to manage a lot or like spin a lot of plates. And with the page of cups energy, they're going to see that there's something very sweet about you, about this connection, or they're going to see you that way. Okay. I love that Scorpio. All right. So let's see what else they love about you. Clear messages and guidance for my Scorpios, please. What else does this person love about you? 
who they're going to be extremely attracted to you. So you've got this erotic energy of the feminine. Um, open your heart when your dependency is rejected. Yeah, but what I get more that more so from this Scorpio is this person is going to find you to be so sexy and seductive, mysterious, attractive. They're going to love your curves, whatever they are. Okay, and yeah, again, there's that Virgo energy coming through. They see you as a mentor. They see you as very wise. Some of you may be teachers or they just know that people look up to you. And we see exorcist, freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. So they definitely see you as a force to be reckoned with. That's what I'm getting from that energy. Of course, you may really help others as well in times of need. Okay. Um, so we get the king of wands. Again, sexy, passionate, fiery. Um, this person's definitely unique or they love you for your uniqueness. Um, you two might have, like, if, especially when you were younger, might have been into the same sort of genre of music. Like you might have been emo or goth or something like that. Or you like some sort of niche, I don't know, some niche subculture possibly. Okay. Let's see. What else do my Scorpios need to know about this connection? Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. So some of you, you do already know who this person is. Maybe you've recently started talking to them. Um, for a very small fraction of you, it could be somebody that you've dealt with in the past. But I'm also getting here with here and now that um, this is already, it's already happened. It's already, it's already been manifested or it's manifesting right now. Okay, so it's something that like you don't have to worry about this happening. It's already happened. Okay, Spirit's just making sure that to keep this relationship balanced. Okay, um, you know that there's an equal give and take. And make sure too that you make time for one another. So working less will help strengthen your relationship. Again, it does feel like this person has quite a lot going on. Um, maybe you do. And some of you, this is a friend that's developing into something more. Okay, and maybe it's taken a while for it to develop because maybe they know your ex or they were friends with your ex. Again, that is not for all of you. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life. So you might meet this person on holiday or when they're on a break. Again, this person might be very different than who you've been dating. You're definitely very different than whom they've been dating. Um, Spirit saying this is a lasting love. Sudden feelings that this is the one. Okay. And physical connection. A lot of you, you're not going to meet online. You're going to meet in person. But again, your physical connection is going to be off the charts. Okay. And loving words hold great power. So just pay attention to what you what you think, what you believe, what you imagine. Scorpio, this is already happening for you, okay, whether you know it or not. So let's get some important dates for my Scorpios, please. Clear messages and guidance, important dates for my Scorpios, please. All right, try again a little later, okay. Rapid movement, things are going to move quickly, but you might try again a little later. Again, maybe you've been in this person's um, vicinity and, and things weren't able to like kick off or they were crushing on you or something like that. It is going to happen within the next three months, but th there's something here about the timing. There may be something that you have to do or that they have to heal and clear before you two can come together, but it feels pretty good from where I'm standing, Scorpio, Okay. Feels like it feels very twin flame esque, if not a twin flame relationship. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.